Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So today we are going to start with our uh, 9.6 which is age, sex and population variation as genetic markers and there are some other topics also that we have to cover in this. So let us get started as I told you that in this uh, unit that is 9.6 we are going to cover the genetic markers and how they are distributed across different races we had not talked about it in the last chapter i told you ki ye, this is going to be the part of the next chapter so i'll cover it there so now we are going to very in very detail we are going to understand about it so let's start first what is a genetic marker okay so we when we were doing the racial classifications hai, when we were doing our racial classifications we took two kind of characters one were the morphological right the morphological ones just me humne we took the metric and non metric measures right jaise ki uh, non metric would be the hair texture right the eye color right and metric one would be the stature theek hai cephalic index nasal index like that right and then we were talking about the genetic markers because they also give us a good understanding about how there are different races and and which race has which kind of a genetic marker right now before starting we should understand what a genetic marker is right so what is a genetic marker a genetic marker is a gene or a dna sequence with a known location on the chromosome that can be used to identify traits in individuals or species now what does this mean for example if i take this this is a this is a chromosome okay i am just taking a very very hypothetical example for you to understand let us suppose this is chromosome number 23 ka this is x chromosome theek hai chromosome number 23 the sex chromosome it is right either it could be xx or xy x wala i am taking the x1 theek hai on this x on locus or position number 7 i am just giving it a random number on position number 7 I have located a place. Okay, that means I have just located position number seven. कि यहाँ पे there is a genetic marker which is maybe uh, just take a hypothetical example that it is uh, concerned with a uh, the the growth of a person. ठीक है? So मैंने क्या बोला? I just said कि on the chromosome number twenty three on locus or position number 7 it is it is related to the growth of a person that means uska growth kaisa rahega theek hai so ye maine kya kiya maine ye ek genetic marker kind of a nikal liya that means maine kuch ek known location i just used the location or a, or a particular position on a chromosome on a dna sequence to identify a particular trait or in or some some kind of a attribute in a individual or a species so this is how we use the genetic markers and we use these to identify and classify different races theek hai so in this in these genetic markers serological serological markers are very important serological ho gaye jo blood related hain theek hai so these are the uh, you know you can say the components of blood theek hai for example we have the abo blood group system we have rh theek hai then we have serum uh, we our our blood has different serums and proteins theek hai Je, like the hemoglobin like the haptoglobin theek hai then the rbcs theek hai so all of this is the you can say the index for this chapter in this we are going to cover all of this only the terms that i have mentioned so do not worry today's topic is only abo blood group system okay so genetic marker what is this besides the traditional morphological traits genetic traits such as the abo mns rhs blood group are also exhibited in populations theek hai in terms of allelic frequency that means there is different populations and they have different different alleles of these genetic markers theek hai so all these blood groups come under the genetic markers and they have been studied by anthropologists to understand population variation and the classification of human races so i hope i hope yahan pe koi doubt hona nahi chahiye right so when we talk about 
the blood right when we are talking about the uh, just wait yeah so when we are talking about blood it is a very complex substance okay it's a it's a it's a complex substance because it has a lot of you can say for example if we collect the blood in a tube theek hai na and if we make it and we allow it to stand for some time theek hai so it will be maine ek test tube le li and i put blood in this theek hai i i take blood in this theek hai and i allow it to stand that blood for some times what will happen in some times this blood will separate itself into two components okay so first component will clot itself theek hai the first component will clot itself and the second one would be a clear fluid theek hai second one would be the clear fluid and which is whitish in color which is called the serum theek hai okay this serum is what i was telling you jisme proteins hemoglobin all of that is there theek hai and the reddish clotish jo reddish clot ho jayega that will have your rbcs theek hai na red blood cells jisko bolte hain it has that and it will have your antigens and all of that theek hai so now this is first thing to thoda aapko blood ka idea ho gaya what is blood and all of that theek hai in blood we have the antigens and antibodies theek hai antigens and antibodies now what is that when blood group substance from one individual is introduced into the blood stream of another person to humko kya feel hota hai that for example if i if i transfuse the blood of a person who has b positive into a positive person kya hoga the blood will agglutinate that means the wo the body will not recognize right and uski body mein uh, there will be massive problems blood clotting shuru ho jayega and all of that there are many problems because of the antibodies and the antigens now i'll explain you what is the concept of antibody and antigens theek hai वैसे तो दिस वॉज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ आर टॉपिक बट आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग बिकॉज देन देर बी नो कन्फ्यूजन टू एनी बडी ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेक अ ब्लड ग्रुप ठीक है आई टेक अ एंटीजन आई टोल्ड यू एवरी वन ऑफ अस हैज एंटीजन एंड एंटीबॉडीज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन आर ब्लड ग्रुप सो इफ समबडी हैज अ ब्लड ग्रुप ए ही हैज एंटीजन ए एंड एंटीबॉडी फॉर बी ब्लड ग्रुप ठीक है if somebody's blood group b theek hai he has antigen for blood group b but antibodies for blood group a theek hai similarly if somebody's ab ab then he has antigen for both a as well as b and antibodies for none theek hai and if somebody's blood group o he has antigen for none and antibodies for both a and b theek hai so what happens in this case agar main somebody who is already having an antibody for blood group b if i give him the blood group b theek hai na his body will start making antibodies for that because his body has antibodies for blood group b and if i give him that his body will start making antibodies and then the problem will start and this is how the uh you can say the blood groups work now let's we'll understand it in a lot detail now these are the kind of genetic markers in a blood that we are going to study about so first is the abo blood group system this was given by landsteiner then and and the sturley and de castello inhone ab ki baat ki thi and then we have to study the rh and we have to study the mns also so rh also given by landsteiner and wiener and mns given by landsteiner and levine theek hai so today we are going to study abo system now just understand okay i'm just telling you just try and listen to me so blood groups a b and o were discovered by landsteiner theek hai while jo only ab tha it was given by de castello and sturley aap landsteiner bhi yaad rakh lunge that will be fine theek hai okay Now what happens? जैसे आपको मैंने I told you there is blood group, uh, there is antibody and antigens in the person. So that is why we have to only give a person the same kind of blood. ठीक है? Because क्या होता है? If there is a person, if I trans transfuse a blood type with patient B, 
who produces that, that will produce severe reaction. So, lot of hap, uh, accidents happened in the past when the ABO blood group system was not known. So, kabhi kya hota tha? if one person's blood was given to other person, hai? it would create you know a lot of problems in the human body. So, it was not understood ki aisa kyu ho raha hai, right. So, when the study on the antigens uh, uh, and antibodies and the different kind of blood groups that is A, B, O and A, B. Jab ye sab discoveries hui, uske baad samaj aaya, okay, okay, red cells of one person agglutinate if the recipient has antibodies for that, thik hai na? So, if I give him the, if I give a person who has a A blood group, thik hai, B blood group, to blood will agglutinate. So, all of these were studied, okay. So, now what happens, now as I told you, why we call A, B as universal recipient and O as universal donor, I will just tell you this concept also. It is because if I, if you see A, B, they have antigens for none, uh, sorry antibodies for none. That means, aap inko A ka blood do, B ka blood do, O ka blood do, inke paas kuch antibodies hi nahi hai. That means, their body will not produce any antibody for any blood type, right. That is why they are universal recipient and O is a universal donor because inke paas antigen hi nahi hai, thik hai na? So, he can give blood to anybody, inke, inke khilaaf nobody would produce an antibody, right, kyunki inke paas koi antigen hi nahi hai, thik hai? So, this is the concept I hope you must have understood and now let us look at the uh, distribution which we were talking about ki how different races have different distribution of blood groups. So, if we take about the Asians first, they have 39 percent O positive blood group, thik hai 27 percent A positive and 25 percent B positive. So, you can see B comparatively in other populations is quite less, but in Asian populations B, B uh, blood group is more. Thik hai? Similarly, if you see the Caucasians, the B, B positive is very low, right and O positive and A is quite high. Right? Similarly, if you are African Americans, loge, O positive is very very high. Right? And Latin American may be O positive is very very high. So, this and B positive is very low. So, with this you can just remember thoda, uh, here and there mota mota ki kis population may how much percentage or distribution of uh, blood uh, which blood type is there. Thik hai? Now, this map also shows us the same thing the most common blood types, right. But I have a, I have a better map, in this you can understand more. So, around the world if we see there are four blood groups that we talk about, the A, B, O and A, B, thik hai, which is determined by the presence or absence of the two antigens or surface of the red blood cells A and B. That means, we antigen and antibody ke hisab se, we can divide the A, B, A, B and O. O blood groups. Thik hai? Furthermore, wo bol ki RH factor bhi hota hai, which is independent of the ABO blood group system, which we are going to study tomorrow. Thik hai? And you can see O type is considered to be universal donor, while AB is universal acceptor. We have talked about this. Thik hai? The rarest blood type in the world is AB negative, while the most common is the O positive. We already saw here the distribution wise, you can see O positive is quite high in all the populations, right. So, distribution we have talked about and then he is saying over 93 percent of all people in the world are RH positive. So, jab hum RH wala system padhenge, there ye uh, information use ho sakte hai, right. So, I hope you understood little bit here. Now, isme we are studying one more thing. Uh, I told you the rare blood types, but the, I told you the common distribution of blood types rare blood groups we dekh lo. For example, AB negative 2 percent African American mein, thik hai? and B negative 1 percent. Thik hai? Similarly, Asians mein very less population has negative blood groups and wo thode rare hote hai. And AB negative sub se rare blood group hai, we talked about that. Right. Now, why should we select blood group or ABO blood group as a genetic marker. It is because if you take a blood, it is easy to handle 
and easier to transport that means if we have to agar humko financially bhi dekhna hai monetarily bhi dekhna hai to it is easy hai na handle karna transport karna study karna it is easy and boyd this is this was the name of a person who studied and he gave certain advantages of studying blood groups as a uh, as a racial classification and he pointed out certain points like it is easier to handle transport theek hai then follows mendelian pattern of inheritance that means very simple it is what is mendelian uh, of inheritance simple hai we talked about there are four blood groups a b ab and o सो ए बी तो जो है ऑब्वियसली वो ए और बी को मिक्स करके बना है राइट तो हम तीन ले लेते हैं फिलहाल के लिए ए बी और ओ लेट्स टेक दिस आउट सो मेंडिलीन इनहेरिटेंस क्या है यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डोमिनेंस रिसेसिव ट्रेट्स ऑल ऑफ दैट ठीक है सो ए बी आर द डोमिनेंट ट्रेट्स इन केस ऑफ ब्लड ग्रुप ए और बी डोमिनेंट है और ओ रिसेसिव होता है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल if there is a parent who has a o blood group and the other parent has a a blood group bit bacche ko kya milega the child will get a theek hai now isme humne ye bhi padha hai principle of diploid uh, uh, diploid uh, thing na that means ki a ki there are diploid uh, uh, we have diploid uh, uh, allele right that means the father हु इज ए एग्जाम्पल ले लेते हैं कि ये फादर है राइट right? तो फादर को अगर ए ब्लड ग्रुप का होना है तो इधर ही हैज टू बी ए ए और ही हैज टू बी ए ओ बिकॉज ओ इज रिसेसिव ट्रेट सो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू शो इट सेल्फ सो फादर ए ओ भी हो सकता है और ए ए भी हो सकता है राइट बट ही कान बी ए बी बिकॉज अगर उसके साथ बी होगा तो बी इज ऑल्सो डोमिनेंट तो ब्लड वॉट वुड बी द ब्लड टाइप ऑफ द फादर इट विल देन बिकम ए बी एंड ऐसे ए बी आया राइट ए बी कैसे आया फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ मदर हैज बी ब्लड ग्रुप फादर हैज ए ब्लड ग्रुप तो फिर को डोमिनेंस हो जाएगा ए बी का बिकॉज बोथ आर डोमिनेंट एंड बोथ विल शो केस इट सेल्फ सो दिस इज हाउ द मेडिलियन प्रिंसिपल्स वर्क इन द ब्लड ग्रुप सिस्टम सो यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो so then we were, uh, we were talking about ki why we should use it as a genetic marker so it is a clear cut mendelian inheritance so that is why easier hai to understand theek hai then it is not altered by food and climate so hame aisa hi genetic marker chahiye hota hai which is not easily alterable aisa nahi hona chahiye that today you get to a polar area theek hai from a, a tropical region to aapka blood group thodi change ho jayega so agar aisa hoga then we will not be able to easily classify the races right so not altered by food and climate then frequent stable uh, stability in the population that means it maintains humne dekha na distribution in percentages that means almost each blood group maintains itself to that stable frequency in a population and then it probably arose early in the man's evolution that means if we study agar hum bole neanderthals also maybe they must be also having some blood groups at all theek hai so that means it was uh, it arose early in the man's evolution and with that we can study the evolution also of man so th- for that also it's good and how races were formed so it is a good uh, you can say criteria for that also so this was distribution this was abo blood group system you have studied about this now different geographical gradients show that blood groups are affected by environment also so abhi humne isme ye to baat kar li but some extra information also you should know that jo blood groups hai na theek hai blood groups are affected by our environmental characters also theek hai for example if i have to tell you some examples to isme main kya bolungi jaise ki uh you can say each blood group show strong correlation with certain diseases that means environment mein kya aa gaya obviously everything jo which is not hereditary wo hum hum usko count karte hain in our environment right so you can say jo a blood group hai na that is very susceptible to pancreatic cancers pancreatic cancers or stomach cancers theek hai similarly जो ओ ब्लड ग्रुप होता है ना इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद गैस्ट्रिक अल्सर्स ठीक है 
gastric ulcers. So, like this you can say blood group has a in uh, has certain environmental angle also, thikhe? but this is one thing and and racial uh, this is just one thing which we have to study obviously, because we have a chapter padha tha, that was uh, nature versus nurture debate. So, how race uh, or how blood as a genetic marker is hereditary and is impacted by the environment, we have to study that also in this chapter. Hai? So, I told you a little bit about the ABO blood group system, not little bit, but this is how much that you have to remember. Tomorrow, we will do the RH system, the MNS system, all of that and we will uh, further proceed with the chapter. I hope you liked it. This was just an introductory, uh, introductory video to 9.6 and uh, guys, if you like it, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.